we'll begin with Latin America. Uh, and uh, the third hour we'll do set the US uh, and set the colonialism. And we'll see how it goes from there. Um, uh, after I will, uh, I will go on explaining for maybe 40 minutes and then leave 10, question, 10 minutes for questions uh, between each hour, uh, before the end of each hour, so that you have more time to discuss or if you have any questions. Okay, so what we're doing now is continuing with Taravishi uh, on the difference between Aql and Aqli. So if we go to um, uh, page 281 from Taravishi. Pages uh, 281 to um, 290. Okay. So at the beginning, he talks about uh, uh, his. Uh, his um, Although Tarabishi is, is, is uh, critiquing and criticizing uh, Jabri, well, what uh, concerns us is not the critique of Jabri, but more uh, what, he's pro what he uses as ideas and what he refers to. And therefore, uh, the, the idea of uh, introducing al al is to understand how that it has impacted or affected uh, the concept of nationalism in our region, in the Arab world. So uh, I will read. We are when we use the language of the Arabic, we use it from the perspective of the scientific perspective. We use it from the perspective of the scientific perspective. We use it from the perspective of the scientific perspective. We use it from the perspective of the scientific نظري فطرية وطبيعية وقارة حكم وطبيعة وقارة تحكم نظرة الفرد والجماعة كما تحكم العوامل البيولوجية الموروثة سلوكهما وتصرفاتهما أننا أبعد من ما نكون عن هذا التصور الذي لا يقوم على أي أساس علمي. طيب هلا ال skip the line and then go to the second paragraph. قد لاحظ درس العقلية البدائية وكذلك العقلية الطفلية الطفلية على أن هاتين ال العقليتين قومان إلى حد كبير على مبنى ما اسمه جان بياجي الواقعية الاسمية اللي هي انه الـ انه الـ الوعي الطفل بكون بس فقط لأسماء الاشياء وليس ما تعني الاسماء من وراء And then when we go to uh, 282 third paragraph ولو كان لنا أن نجي, أن نجي مفاضلة أو مميزة بين العقل والعقلية Here's the comparison من منظور التقويم العلمي فأقول أن ما ستلاحظه أن العقل يبقى أولا وأخيرا مفهوما فلسفيا تخالط ال التباسات ميتافيزيقية على مدى 25 قرن من تاريخ ما المتضامن بينما العقلية مفهوم ذو تأسيس علمي انجبه في مطلع القرن العشرين علم الاجتماع 
وعلم النفس الاجتماعي واستكمل التطور والضبطات النقدي وضبطه النقدي علوم الانثروبولوجيا والانثولوجيا والتاريخ المقارن ولا سيما مدرسه الحوليات التي طورت ابتداء من منتصف القرن بدءا ما فات يعرف باسم تاريخ العقليات وبذهني ان مفهوم العقليه لا يحتل في العلوم الانسان والمجتمع المكان المتكزة التي يحتل مفهوم العقل الفلسفه والتاريخ ولكن ينظر اليوم ان تفتح اي قاموس في العلوم الاجتماعيه عن موضوع العقليه كما ده قائمة على حدة أو على حدة ومركزية في بعض الأحيان طيب Basically the, 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 the mind and the mentality So uh, the mind is a more philosophical and abstract uh, component from which one is, um, is able to lies and read the surroundings and the reality or how one, is, one analyzes it. The, the mentality is more fixed in the sense that it has more to do with culture and psychology, social psychology, group psychology, and uh, as well as tradition. So therefore, uh, it, uh, it has a limit. Now, it is part of uh, studies in anthropology and uh, social sciences, which try to analyze groups uh, and uh, behavior. For uh, it is something that could be sub subconsciously influencing even the, uh, the mind and how one uh, rationalizes. Um, and therefore, how this uh, the point uh, here from Tarabishi is how to um, how this impacts nationalism. If na nationalism in the in the Arab world, uh, you would need to kind of uh, discuss how uh, how it was able to go beyond the mentality and maybe provide something new in the terms of the uh, rationale. Aflaq does that, um, but then the most of those who followed Abdul Nasser, for example, uh, followed him um, uh, when, um, by being popular. So most of the pop uh, populace um, were attracted to Abdul Nasser uh, and his appeal uh, in the name of uh, nationalism but what was more uh, uh, driving force for that uh, appeal was uh, perhaps something to do with mentality when you talk about uh, dig uh, re restoring uh, dignity and, uh, and honor after the defeat of 48 or the Nakbe. Um, more specific uh, or other kind of definitions about uh, uh, the mind or aqliya is on page 283 at the top. And he's quoting from, uh, from a social, uh, social encyclopedia, uh, starting 282, the last line. Al aqliya hiya ta'arif. الاستعدادات والمواقف والعادات والتوجهات العقلية والأخلاقية والمعرفية والوجدانية التي تكون مشتركة بين أعضاء جماعة بعينها. So therefore it has to do with, a, with several factors, um, customs, uh, approaches, mentality, uh, behavior and principles and uh, uh, which have to do with how knowledge is built or awareness is built and uh, also have to do with uh, consciousness as a benefit, existential, uh, which is common uh, to a particular group. And it follows, 
كثير اول شكرا اول شكرا شكرا آه علما بان الماده آه تستبعد الى حد كبير التفكير النقدي آه لصالح الاحكام السابقه So uh, mentality uh, tends to veer away from uh, criti critical thinking and therefore uh, tries to maintain within the realm of what is, uh, has been done before or what has been acquired before. When we go to the uh, definition of, of uh, Or further expansion of Akhliya, um, page 284, the second paragraph, 6th line at the end. وَهُوَ مِنْ نَحْيَ ثَانِيَ لَا وَهُوَ مِنْ نَحْيَ ثَانِيَ Everybody is with me. We are page 284. Second paragraph, sixth line. وَهُمْ النَّحِيَةِ الثَّانِيَةِ لَا يَرْفُضْ مَفْهُومَ الْعَقْلِيَةِ بِقَدْرِ مَا يُطَالِبْ بِتَعْقِيلِهِ أو بِبِوضع بين مزدوجين في انتظار تفكيك هو نفسه. وَهُمْ النَّحِيَةِ الثَّالِثَةِ لَا يَطْلُبْ تَعْلِيق مفهوم العقلية وحدة بل سائر المفاهيم والمعاني الوحدوية الوحدة وحدوية من قبيل العقل والتراث والأثار والأثر والتأثر والنسوء والتطور. So this is uh, one of the uh, or some of the tools that could be uh, used to uh, dismantle the mentality. Okay, so as to uh, critique it and uh, go beyond. Um, page 285, he also talks about the Aqliya. Uh, third paragraph. قد يعترض علينا هنا بأن موضع اعتراض الجذري عن على العقلية هو تحديدا كونها تعني حالة ذهنية فطرية وطبيعية وقارة تحكم نظرة الفرد والجماعة كما تحكم العوامل البيولوجية الموروثة سلوكهما وتصرفاتهما تصرفاتهما ولكن هذا المعنى للعقلية لا وجود له عند أي من المفكرين الذين تعاقوا مع المفهوم uh, so here's uh, here uh, Jabri is also uh, no uh, Ravishi is also referring to what Jabri has kind of incorporated Akhli or the mentality to to be to be something having to do with the with um, genetic buildup of the of a particular people. And this is uh, one critique of uh, of Tarabisi uh, towards Jabari. But the point, what we um, want to accept is that uh, mentality is not something that, that is genetic. Uh, a mentality is something that is uh, uh, acquired, and therefore something acquired can be uh, acquired through uh, being in a larger group or in a larger uh, society, and therefore. Uh, it, it, it is more pro, it is more um, uh, receptible to, or it can be more receptible to uh, analytical thinking and critique. It is not something that uh, you cannot uh, get out of. The, the challenge with uh, uh, dealing with mentality is that whether you, after you have critiqued and analyzed and uh, uh, tested. The validity of the of the mental norms or mental thought processes, uh, whether they uh, uh, whether you surpass them through from by your analysis the uh, 
mentality ceiling or you remain within the ceiling of that mentality and therefore rational or rational thinking for uh, the mind, the capabilities of the mind, an analytical mind uh, becomes um, hindered by the mentality. And this is something that uh, um, that thinkers and, uh, and uh, intellectuals in this region have had to go through in addition to people uh, in general. Um, Two eighty eight, second and third paragraph. مهما يكون من أمر من أمر فإن مستوى حي العقل والعقلية لا يسري عليهما قانون التبادل ولا ينوب واحد واحد أحد ما واحد ما المناب الآخر. وكل منهما يحتوي دلالة. لي قائم وغير مرادف الآخر. So the point here is that the mentality and the mind or rational, rational thinking are not uh, uh, synonymous or uh, uh, do not mean the same. Uh, there are different uh, categories. وليس هما من اللغات وليس هما في اللغات اللاتينية أصل على الأقل من المتفق من المنطلق فالعقل الفرنسية ريزون مشتق من راسيو بينما العقلية منتاليتي مشتقة من منس أو منتس وهي معنى باللاتينية ذهن و فنحن examples فنحن نقول مثلا العقلية البيروقراطية والعقلية الحزبية والعقلية الفلاحية والعقلية البوليسية والعقلية العشائرية وعقلية المالك الصغير أو عقلية المحدث النعمة في جميع هذه الحالات لا تستطيع أن تنيب العقل مناد العقلية أما فيما يتعلق بالعقل نفسه فإن هذا فإن كل ما يتصل من دلالة من دلالاته يملكه التفكير أو في نظرية المعرفة لا يقبل إبدالا إلى العقلية كما عندما تتحدث عن العقل الفاعل والعقل والعقل الفعل والعقل الإلهي والعقل الإلهي والعقل الأول والعقل المكون وبالعودة إلى العقل الأخير تحديدا فإننا لا ندري كيف يمكن أن تجاب so the point is that uh, there is a, a, dis a clear distinction between mentality and mind and the terms and, and the co components of how the term is used in, uh, in, uh, in other realms. When we have, we have the police mentality, you have maybe the, 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 the group mentality, the bureaucratic mentality, or the party mentality. Uh, in, a, uh, in contrast with the uh, mind, uh, which has to do with uh, the, the, the way of the way of thinking and how it uh, analyzes um, its surroundings or itself or even uh, does logic. Uh, why is this uh, important? Is that, for example, uh, in our case, in the in the Palestinian case, uh, when there was this. Um, uh, discourse and the uh, division between uh, uh, factions, particularly between Gaza and the West Bank, uh, you can say that it was the discourse or the, or the argumentation between the two had more a tone of uh, 
mentality rather than use of the mind. And therefore, it, it um, may have uh, uh, fallen under the category of, of uh, party or factional uh, mentality. And in this case, would be derived from, say, the, the, the tribe mentality. But it would seem that there was some some nuances of which is important to kind of be aware of. So you can have two people, uh, two groups, or two people uh, discussing uh, or arguing uh, each other. If their point of uh, start it has to do with uh, using rationale within a mentality, therefore you have two mentalities that are maybe uh, disputing each other, and there is no rational way of reaching to a logical, uh, rational uh, uh, compromise. Okay, if the, if the uh, uh, underpinning is more me uh, having to do with mentality rather than the mind and the rationale. Okay, so this is uh, having to do with lack uh, of I will open the mic just in case you have any questions before we go to pleasure. or anything that is not clear. For the mentality, so you mean that, um, for example, the success of, for example, the Islamic movement in Gaza, they have more uh, more popularity here because their mentality and their behavior is more um, Islamic and it's more Qibali than the West Bank, right? So we can apply it even when they want to participate in parties. We can we can say if their mentality goes with the party, well, they will go with it. But if it's against their uh, mentality and the way they think, they will not agree with it. Uh, perhaps, but also you can uh, take it the other way around. Um, um, the discourse that that uh, took place from the West Bank was one of they're trying to demonize the uh, Gaza or the, the Islamic movement there and demonizing them more even than you would demonize, say, the Zionists. So that sort of discourse has to do with something that, uh, that uh, kind of uh, the confidence of, of uh, being that uh, blunt in, in, uh, in criticizing would come from something that is not necessarily rational. It would have okay. something to do with mentality as well. So it, it goes both ways. It's not just one one part. Okay, that's in applying Gaza. But for example, for example, in Tahririyin in uh, Hebron, they are more successful. You can see more, much more numbers than, for example, in Bethlehem. That's because the two mentalities for both cities are different. You will not see that that much of people are Tahririyin here in Bethlehem because the mentality of most of people in Bethlehem are different. Uh, yeah. So, yes, it's possibly, but, but, but not yeah. for Gaza, for example. For Gaza, we need more information. That's not applied only now. Uh, right? The point, well, the, the point is that uh, if, you, if you want to reach a national uh, consensus about what the national goals are, okay, for the Palestinians, therefore you need to think through what we have gone through, the history of the past, and then analyze the present and then uh, come to a projection towards the future, uh, which is what we've been talking in the past session, sessions. So if, uh, if uh, there is more interest in maintaining a particular uh, convenient reality for, for some, uh, then you will not arrive at a, a, a uniform conclusion. Okay? Okay. If the priority is not to be liberated, but to kind of uh, uh, find some sort of uh, possibility, as opposed to and the and the other 
and but the logic would mean or the rational thinking would mean that no you would need to uh, try to achieve liberation because uh, say in 25 years of negotiation has, has not uh, brought any outcome or even if made, it has made it worse therefore you need to reevaluate and reassess uh, the, 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 part, the recent past uh, uh, performance and uh, what has been acquired so and that would require a rational uh, the you know you wish to, to come to the fore of the aqli. Okay, I understand this point, but my point is sometimes we don't need their mentality. It cannot be, you know, the, as you said, the, the first reason why people are going to join that party, for example. Like Saeed Zahloul, for example, why people hate uh, start to uh, celebration movement and they don't want Islamic movement. And uh, her wife took uh, the niqab, for example. Mm. Even though at that time they used not the Islamic who used to control, uh, for example, Egypt, but the but the way of the movement went to liberation just because they want freedom. So sometimes, even though the uh, the mentality is different and like different than the party that wants, but it's about priority for your time. That's what you said, right? So in my um. for example, Palestine now needs a new strategy for dealing with the Palestinian cause. After what we saw from uh, the past, what we see now, and what we want to approach in the future. Okay, and then how do you reach that? Yes, exactly. By uh, re restudy our... Uh, so uh, what, what do you use? Did? Mentality of, or rational? Okay. Rational. okay, okay. I've got it. Okay, uh, but the, the thing is that... Um, there are sometimes the, the, the what is um, uh, what is handed on or what what is built into the mentality could be positive. It could not it need not necessarily be negative. If, for example, there is in the in the mentality that a word is more is as valid as a written written statement. Okay, then that is something that is positive that can be built on. It means that your credibility is important. Okay, so therefore you can use that trait in the mentality. Uh, for example, to uh, enhance uh, dynamic in the ra rationale. Yeah. And also that uh, if somebody has wronged, it has, a wrong has occurred. Uh, therefore, um, if, uh, so long as there's somebody who's demanding uh, justice for the wrong, uh, a wrong is never uh, forgotten, and that is a saying, uh, an Arabic saying. Uh, this uh, this kind of this comes from a mentality which means which sustains that whatever wrong has happened, at some point you can you, you if you continue to strive to rectify it and to achieve, achieve justice. And that's something that we can incorporate into, uh, for example, a national uh, vision, a strategy. Okay, so it's not necessarily, it depend, it, that's why it needs critique. Not everything mental is uh, fundamentality necessarily is bad. But there are some aspects that uh, take, uh, take, take automatic control of behavior and assessment. Um, which need to be kind of uh, reflected upon whether whether they are valid or not. Okay. So if there if there are no other questions, we'll then go to Khatraji. Uh, one question, Dr. Ala. Yes. Yeah. yeah. My question is: It's clear that that we can use the mentality as a tool to reach our goals. For example, in uh, building a state or in reaching the national um, national state. We can use the mentality to reach that goal. In this way, the mentality is not totally negative. It's a positive thing. Yes, but it's depend on how we use it, how we use this mentality. It, well, yeah, and it depends on what you use from the mentality. For example, if the mentality yeah. is, is, uh, is focused on, on Arab, for example, which is what Aflaq uh, talked about last time. The point of Arab nationalism should be that it emerges from from the specific uh, regions, and therefore, but that it also moves beyond the, the localities into a whole region, awareness of all regions. So this is some sort of moving up 
uh, scale from uh, local mentality to regional mentality. And therefore, Aflac also talks about that once you reach uh, na nationalism, or nationalism should also have a human aspect with other with nations, with other civilizations. And therefore, you, you try to bring something to, which contributes to the enhancement and betterment of humanity as a whole. It shouldn't be something that kind of brings you back into, say, uh, ethnocentrism or nationalism or race or racism, which excludes uh, others. Of course, others who are also interested in um, in the betterment of the, of uh, humanity and other civilizations, not uh, who are uh, determined to clash with other people and other civilizations and cultures uh, to exploit. Okay. So, so it, this, it, is, it is not a general thing. You need to see what in mentality and what in, uh, in, the, in the mind uh, uh, is valid. Even in the Aql, there might be some things that are not valid if you, if you uh, reach uh, a lo some logical conclusion. So uh, okay. we need to, if we want to develop or enhance, we need to work and, and enhance the mentality and at the same time the mind. They yes. go in parallel. Uh, uh, it could be, but uh, the, yeah, it, uh, that uh, that uh, then depends on the on the individual where you go. Okay. Clear. Um, okay. Any other questions? Okay, we we'll go back to Khafaji, and I'll, I'll mute. Wait, there, there are some questions. Um, Hamdan, any questions? Thank you, Dr. Okay, all right. Wait, Khafaji. Now, Khafaji, I, I uh, referred you to focus on particular. Um, on, on particular uh, pages, specific pages. So if we go to uh, page 413, Uh, okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Um, um, I'm sorry to ask you. Uh, kind of like, but uh, okay. I have a question about the Atul and Atul. Yeah. Um, um, if we regard the mentality as the way uh, like people perceive things around them, uh, then um, my question is, isn't text, I mean, um, can it be changed? Um, um, maybe for a group of people, can their mentality be changed according to um, certain circumstances? Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, and the yes is is very uh, has several uh, um, several points. What, it can be changed in the sense that uh, if there is a reassessment of whether that a certain practice or a certain uh, uh, trajectory or path is uh, not uh, uh, is not uh, for example is not fair. Uh, then there would be a, a collective reassessment, okay? okay. Now, uh, but on the other hand, uh, if somebody is trying to manipulate a group and how they think by by uh, identifying where the uh, what 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 one would call the triggers of the mentality are, for example, if you um, uh, there have been programs to try to uh, control uh, 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 
um, societies in this region and other regions, and it has to do with trying to understand what the sensitive aspect of a community is uh, and what makes uh, people uh, uh, well known and what makes them not well known and what are the uh, the, problem, the sensitivities that if you uh, manipulate them, you can then trigger off a certain chain reaction. And this is, this is program is called uh, uh, Human Terrain Systems. It's like dealing with, you know, with, with terrain uh, normally has to do with the geography, whether they, you have plains or mountains and whether they are trees or, or lakes or whether it's desert or what. So therefore you understand what is possible within that terrain. The, uh, the program has tried to analyze humans and human societies which are being targeted in the same form. We try to understand from the culture what are the terrains of the culture. And this has been called, the, the Americans uh, began this in 2006, to, uh, human terrain system. And it is applied in Afghanistan and in Iraq. And they had people going there to try to fill uh, applications or um, case forms uh, uh, with maybe more than 200, 300, 500 questions about details of what societies are, who does what, who is uh, well known, why is one somebody respected, and all these things. So, uh, in that sense, uh, mentality, if somebody else is analyzing mentality for, uh, for the purposes of conflict and trying to control the people, if you, if uh, the one who is analyzing uh, knows where the sensitive parts are you know, or aspects in a, in a collective society, therefore they can artificially create uh, scenarios or circumstances or events which, which activate the sensitive parts in a, in a sensitive issues. In a, in a society and therefore make the society go towards a particular direction. And in this sense, if the society as a whole is not aware of what their mentality is comprised of and what are the strengths and weaknesses of, of that uh, uh, mentality, therefore it, is, it, it could be used to manipulate. And it could be manipulated in terms of uh, through what one calls into the neoliberal approach so we'll come to that when we talk about the paradigms later on in the, in the, in the course, or by manipulating it for, for war, making it weaponizing the culture and understanding the culture and the triggers in that culture to, to, to um, um, divert uh, a consensus that might be emerging out of the reality. Okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, okay, 414, second paragraph. Oh, no, third paragraph, the last paragraph. The Makanat al Galibiyah is Sukkan al Mashrif, the Hadar, the Hadar, the Hadith, the Hadithia, the Hadar, the Hadithia, the Hadar, 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 وصولها الجغرافي أو الانتمام المذهبية أو الدينية فكانت ذات مصبحة القضاء على كل الأشكال الحرامية دون القومية وهنا تلاقت مصالح الطبقات الحاكمة الجديدة في طرد التجانس على السكان مع تعطش تلك الغالبية من المصطهدين إلى الاعتراف بهم كمواطنين يتساوون مع الآخرين كما سنبين لاحقا فقد تم تصوير عملية التجنيس طرد التجانس فشرط مصدق لا غنى عنه لنشوء المواطن الحق والانتقال إلى الحكم المباشر حيث لا وسطية بين الأفراد والدولة في العشائر أو الطوق الشرفية أو أعيان المدن أو رؤساء الملل الدينية. So the point here is that uh, 
um, he's talking, he's introducing uh, uh, an, another concept, which is presmis, uh, which mean, which has to do, uh, and uh, there, why is this relevant? Is that how how is this um, affecting the concept of of nation of uh, being a national or being a citizen, and therefore. Um, to try to um, achieve this categorization has, has more to do with, be, with uh, striving to be uh, um, loyal to the regime in, in power rather than uh, um, developing a uh, collective identity which has something to do with na the nationalism as a whole. And therefore, it becomes a sub, a sub uh, um, category uh, uh, from uh, being a national or a citizen, it means that you're, you're, you're a citizen uh, depending on how loyal you are to the regime or to those in power, which is, uh, which is a different uh, uh, process than the process of trying to uh, achieve it through thinkers and, and uh, and uh, historians and soci uh, sociologists and political scientists to try to achieve what it is to be a uh, um, uh, national of a particular country or state. Uh, and therefore, th this has the way of developing a, a particular type of citizen, which is different from the citizen that, uh, that emerged in Europe. Although the uh, the citizen that emerged in Europe in the 19th century under the, um, uh, the constitutional monarchy system, monarchic system is one that emerged and evolved by being loyal to the whole uh, new process of, uh, of developing a new uh, citizen, not uh, just being loyal to the uh, king or the monarch. You need to be loyal to the whole process as well, in addition to the king. Where here it's just exclusive loyalty to uh, to the to the party. So you, you can, in a corrupt system, you may be able to not pay your taxes, and but your loyalty kind of uh, uh, is is um, valued more than say paying taxes. Okay, for example, or doing certain other obligations which which are. Uh, uh, obligations uh, to other uh, people within the same society. And uh, uh, he talks more about the, the, the ruling party al the, in the, in the 4, 4, 15, 16, and 17. But in 416, at, at the end of the second paragraph, he uses the term al Hizb al Qa'id. If we go back to the. I'll read the second paragraph on page 416. Uh, بارزة فيها تمت المحافظة على بعض المظاهر الاستعمارية مع النظم القديمة لكن التوجه الجدي بفرض التجانس الثقافي بدلا بدأ خلال المرحلة الثانية حين التقى مفهوم الوحدة الوطنية على المفاهيم الديمقراطية والتنوع والتعددية بل, بل أول فلأول مرة أخذت الدول بإنتاج وفرض سياسة خاصة بها أي إنتاج فكر سياسي باسم الدولة كلها كلها أو بتعبير آخر إنتاج أيديولوجيا سياسية صريحة تم إيصالها إلى أبعد مناطق البلد بهدف تبنيها من جانب كل المواطنين وحيثما لم تكن القيادة الثورة ومرتبطة بحزب سياسي محدد كما كان الحال في مصر تم إنشاء حزب سياسي وحيد بعد انتصار القائد القائد الجدد على حساب منع كل الأحزاب الأخرى من ممارسة المصاف السياسي 
اما حين تولي حزب تولى اما حين تولي حزب او تولى حزب سياسي قائم اصلا السلطه كما في حالتي سوريا والعراق فقد تم تنصيب ذلك الحزب رسميا بوصفه حزب قائد حزبا قائدا مما ادى الى حظر نشاط الاحزاب السياسيه الاخرى او فرض قيود مشدده على تلك التي جرت موافقة على استمرار النشاط ومع تسليم القياده للدوله والمجتمع رسميا الى الحزب القائد بدات بات اي نقد الاخير عرضه للعقاب باعتبارها زوما على الدوله نفسها. So here there are several uh, several uh, points to bear in mind or to keep uh, which are interesting. One is that um, okay, you can have uh, um, <clears throat> a struggle against uh, uh, colonialism, and sometimes the, the state or the system that comes after uh, colonial um, contraction uh, maintains ties with the colonial system which is what they call neo-colonialism, which is a new form of control, which is not directly uh, by having troops or soldiers or colonial so, uh, uh, personnel on the, on, in the state. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> and it took two, two forms. One took in, in, in Egypt with Jamal Abdel Nasser, the, the revolutionary aspect took on control of, focused around, around uh, a leader, um, but in say uh, Syria and Iraq, it took uh, uh, the form of, uh, of a party. Now, uh, if, uh, if it's um, if it's focused around the leaders, at some time the leader may allow uh, other political parties to be to be uh, have a voice or to, have, uh, to be present in the political process. And to have a voice in, the, in determining the political future, and sometimes not, uh, if there is a, a clear determination not to have any any discussion. Now, um, um, in Syria and Iraq, we were talking about the, the back party in Syria and Iraq, which emerged um, and which took on a, a role in which the party itself became the only party that was uh, allowed to practice uh, politics. And our other parties were either 